Hello world, welcome to Iron Sharp and Iron. I'm Andre Ford and today's talk is about forgiveness. Forgiveness is a power that we harness yet hardly ever access. And what I mean by that is that how intense is your conversation with your coworkers or your family or your friends about that situation that happened years ago or last week or as if it had happened moments ago or at that time. Seeing that you're angry and you're going into deep depressions as you're talking about the situation instead of actually acting like you forgave that situation or forgave that person for that wrongdoing. How do you feel whenever you're explaining that story? Let me tell you how powerful forgiveness is or the power of forgiveness. To me, forgiveness is for I give you the blessing. That means that I am when I forgive you, I am telling you to live a blessed life. I am telling you that I give you my blessing to continue your life fully blessed. I want you to live as if, uh, live and learn from the situation at hand and that you have my blessing to continue to live on with knowing that I have moved on. That I won't forget, but I have moved on and you have been let go and I hope that you have a good life from this point on. That is what I believe forgiveness is. The reason why forgiveness is so difficult is because your mind and your body knows the power behind actually forgiving somebody, by truly forgiving somebody. And your body would rather hold on to that power, that anger, that frustration, than to release it. Seeing that that powers you, that gives you energy, and that's energy in motion, in fact, emotion. That is why it's so difficult for people to actually forgive people and to let certain things go. And I'm not saying to forget stuff. I'm saying just to forgive. And each day, forgive a person, even if you're just saying it at first, each day it gets easier and you get a piece of your freedom back each time that you forgive that day. You'll feel yourself lighten up. You feel a transcendence. The truth is, is that it doesn't really give you really good energy. What the energy is, is the energy to destroy yourself. It is like stabbing yourself over and over again and hoping that that person feels the pain that you feel. That is the energy that you feel is that, that pain, that frustration, that anger. All of that is the energy that you're feeling from, that, from not forgiving that person. This is why it is so difficult for people to forgive people is because they want to hold on to that. They want to be able to fall back on that power. That is why when someone forgives a person, when someone truly forgives a person, they feel a lightness. They feel different. They feel like a weight has been lifted off their shoulders. Here's my example of what it feels like to forgive someone. Say you give a gift to a person that you care about. Well, you receive something in return, whether it's an emotion or a gift in exchange. Where if you're forced to give a gift to somebody you don't like, to some extent you feel like that it's a one-sided transaction. You would rather be spending that time or using that money or using that energy for something that you care about or for someone that you care about, not buying this person a gift that you don't like. Once that gift has left your presence, sooner or later you'll have a feeling of lightness, a transcending feeling, because forgiveness is a divine transaction. It's... It benefits both parties regardless if it's accepted or not. So whenever the next time you talk about what happened, it doesn't feel like it's happening right then and there, but yet becomes a teaching tool for you to teach others on what you did to forgive or what happened to you and then they learn from those mistakes because each of us can learn from each other. That's the whole point of my channel, Iron Sharpens Iron, is so that we learn from each other. You learn from me, I learn from you. And today we learned about forgiveness. Thank you for watching.